and go. I'm going to make this as fast as possible. Hey, this is uh, in front of Subnautica or Slime Rancher. I recorded the entire playthrough of both of those all at once. They're available in Discord under the Patreon tab. Not because I'm trying to make money, but because I literally can't release the whole playthrough at once. It took me like a year to release Metal Gear Solid. So if, if you like that, if you want to see more of them, that's how you do it. Uh, I recorded these, A, because they're fun. You should buy them. Uh, I really enjoy these games. And B, I was kind of depressed, and it helped with my depression to play and record them. So thank you for watching. I don't know how well they're going to do. Uh, and if you see a good moment, uh, please timestamp it. Uh, there's some good jump scares in Subnautica and some good moments in Slime Rancher. I don't remember where they are, though. So please comment them if you see them, and I'll be make sure to like highlight them appropriately. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Goodbye. Welcome back to another part of Slime Rancher. Genuinely don't know which part this is, which is why I can't answer. Um, we did get an email from uh, Casey while we were here. Casey, hi, hi B. The year we both came home, do you think it could, ever, it could? Do you think it ever could have worked? I mean, being with you every day instead of the long distance thing. That was great. I remember feeling really happy, but something was missing. Both knew that we were giving something up for it all. Think about it all the time, that if we were less honest about it, how you might still be running that little garden shop and I'd still be trying to write music out of a basement. It doesn't matter. Should have told you then what I never did. I should have said it a hundred times. That's depressing. There's a lot of depressing parts of this game. And I think that's what makes it so, like, real and great. Alright, we do have enough for this. We have the lab upgrade and the Golden Shore Shop. Titan Drill Blueprint. Okay, so this is the blueprint I was, I guess I was thinking of. Where that's like the infinite drill. Um, shit. Alright, I kind of want to see what the lab upgrade looks like. I don't know what Golden Shore Shot does either. So, occasionally I have to close out the game and reopen it, because it just starts lagging. Um, which is fine, I get it. There's like a shit ton of things on screen. Um, oh, look at that! We got like this little awning thing up here. We got whatever the fuck that is. Uh, we got some tubes. Some some fuel shit. I'm, uh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. I like the new lab. Um, so I did the research. We have two Gordos are missing. Um, we're missing the Hunter one, which I, I had suspected. And then we're also missing... Oh my god, I have so many fucking carrots. Um, and then we're also missing the rat... Or the, um... Uh, my brain broke. Uh, we're missing the radi... Quantum slime. Why the fuck did I think it was rad? It wasn't. Um, also, so I'm gonna re review the secret styles that we have so far. Sparkly versus classic. Sparkly's fine. Rock versus, or classic versus heavy metal. I like heavy metal. I don't like it when it's mixed with Largos. I'm going to change it back. Um, Phosphor versus Angelic. Angelic can stay. Uh, if only because I don't like the little doodads on top of the Phosphorus one, and I like the wings better. Uh, Tabby versus Tiger. Tiger, all the way. Tabby is cute. Don't get me wrong. Tiger is great. Rad versus Radioactive. We'll go with Radioactive. Classic versus Arcane. I liked Arcane at first. I don't like that we have another pink fucking slime. So I'm going to go back to Classic. Hunter versus Cheshire. Now, I think Hunter would win. But Cheshire's weird tail thing is what sells, is what sells it for me. Now, Classic versus Royal Jelly. I'm going to go back to Classic because I'm getting kind of sick of the, uh, the Royal Jelly and the pink in general. I kind of like the Classic um, Puddle Slime better. But the lily pad one's not bad. It's just different. It just looks more like the tangle vine slime to me. So we're gonna go classic, I think. Crystal versus ruby red. Ruby red all the way. It looks clean as fuck. Although crystals also looks clean, clean as fuck. Classic versus gilded. I mean, I'll never fucking see it, so it doesn't matter. We'll keep it gilded. Guardian versus classic. I gotta be honest. Guardian blends in too easily. I'm gonna go with classic. Oh my god! It makes a little fucking purring sound. Amazing. Uh, classic versus monochrome, classic, not even, not even a question. Fire looks cooler than I thought it did, but devilish is so fucking great. Uh, classic versus nebula, nebula, hands down. Classic versus nightshade, they don't look that fucking different to me. This is one of the worst ones, I think. Um, it literally looks like a reskin. Classic versus pre I mean, it doesn't... There's not a huge difference here. It's just the fangs going down or, like... I feel like, you know, I'm going to go classic, because I feel like the pre jelastic ones kind of look like bug mandibles. Classic versus boomerang? Boomerang. That, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's dope looking. Classic versus retro? This is what I was talking about. I don't know if I ever did this again. Retro is, uh, cooler, in my opinion. And, uh, the only one we're missing, I think, is mosaic. Um, I did look up where it was, just in case. I don't remember, but I know it exists out there. 
So before we go hunting for the uh, the hunter, um, I gotta go and grab more meat. I was thinking about it honestly. I don't need chickens for anything else. Like, I might. This might just be it. Like, I might just grab all the chickens I can, um, and then just head out. Um, I know that roosters are better for him, so if possible. I'd like to hold on to those, but because, like, it's so easy to find regular chickens, I have to use them. Like, I'll I'll definitely have more of them than I have anything else. Um, but yeah, it's been fun, to be honest. Uh, I've really enjoyed replaying this again. I've been, like, absorbed for, like, two days straight. Um, which I needed. I needed a good game to, like, get absorbed into. It's been a while since I've, like, had a game that made me just, like, focus in on it. And it was very much appreciated. Um... I think one thing I want to do is... Oh, you can see... I'm sure you saw. I, I've put, like, various decorations. Um, chilling around the uh, ranch because I can. I have so many resources. I was, like, so overprepared for this. I wonder if the chickens spawn infinitely now. Because um, they popped up pretty quickly. So that kind of makes this way easier. Or if they just spawn at a certain time of a uh, day. Get your ass. I just heard it again. I heard the little tinkle. I think they might just spawn um, infinitely in this area. Which is something that I wish I'd known. That's pretty abusable. Um, although I guess without even really noticing, I probably have been abusing it. Alright, so that's 30. Yep, there they are again. It's definitely just infinite. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's a little weird, because like even the like carrots and the uh, pogo fruit, you have to wait until they um, uh, they grow back. So there's like no. They also spawn as full chickens. They don't spawn as like um, the chicks, which is kind of weird to me. Um, so it's 42. I've got. I'm gonna put the painted hens back because I don't need them. Uh, I guess I can't get rid of the roosters because I don't have that many of them. I'll do the, um, the stony hens, because I have so fucking many of them. Um, alright, that should be enough. I still have briar hens running in here, right? Did the briar hens go extinct? They did. It doesn't matter anymore. I don't need them for anything. Alright, cool. Um, so there's a couple things left to do. We have to finish the desert. I don't... I actually don't even know if I want to finish watering it. I don't know if it's even that important to do that. Like, I don't think it's required. Um, uh, where am I going? Oh, Hunter? Am I going the right direction? I, maybe. Who knows anymore? I'll take the long way. It's been a while since we walked through here. Um, and I also just saw a fucking treasure pod. I'm not going to make it. Oh, oh that hurts. Um... Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see the slimes in their natural habitat and some of their natural colors again. Um, yeah, so I think I don't think we have to um, uh, finish making the desert all pretty. You might have to for the vaults. I think I might go for the vaults. Because um, those are pretty cool. Um, but beyond that, not really. I just don't really have the motivation to do it. Um, so there's three vaults. We have four keys. We'll have like six by the end of this. Um, which is pretty cash money. Um, so we'll get the hunter. Um, we'll finish the game. Like, we'll finish the story, quote-unquote. Um, which is basically just getting the final area of the, uh, glass area. And then, um, uh... The three vaults will open up just because there's that's something to do, and I think that's probably it. I there's just not much else left to do. Um, I think one thing I want to go over, and I want to do it before I end. This is probably gonna be the last part, by the way. Um, if not the second to last, you, you know, it'll be the last, even if it's longer. Um, I want to look at the trophy list because I think my next playthrough of this, like, this is technically season two, I just I've been calling it Slime Rancher PS4. Um, because the first time I played was on PC. Um, oh, I think I see a treasure. No, nope, that's just part of the decoration. Okay. Um, 
But I think um, I think if I do another playthrough, I might do it on a separate uh, profile. I have Wrath of Zalus, and then I also have my uh, trophy hunting one, Pride of Zalus. Um, so I think it might be a fun um, might be a fun thing to try because um, I think I might try and like do. I'm sorry, I'm talking over myself. For a third playthrough, I think what I might try and do is a platinum run, like a platinum playthrough, because um, this game has a pretty interesting trophy list. Um, like it's what I I like when it's like actually well thought out trophies. Um, I can give a pretty good example. So I you know what I'll do that right now actually, just because I'm in the mood for it. So I could just look at the achievement thing in, in the menu, but this is more fun. Um, so slime rancher. So let me let me show you how this went. My very first trophy was catch shoot food into an airborne slime's mouth. This was at eight. This was uh, almost two years ago now. Um, on August 23rd at 6:48, got my final trophy August 24th at noon. <laughs> so it basically took me. Uh, I think I, I know it took me like 17 hours. So this is pretty quick. It's also one of my more rare rare trophies. If you can believe that. How crazy is that? Um, like, I got it easily. It's an easy platinum. Um, so, shoot food into an airborne slime's mouth. That'll happen regardless. Let a tabby headbutt you right on the nose. Boop. Stay awake from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. That's not. That'll happen when you play. Uh, burst of Gordo Slime. Um, that's, you know, gameplay. Shoot a Boom Slime Largo in, in the air that explodes before landing. I think I had to go for that one. Like, I knew... Um, what it was, but yeah, earn five thousand new bucks in a single day. That's fucking cake. Sell five hundred plorts at the plort market. Cake. I think I earned these all within like a couple minutes of each other. Yeah. Stand inside a rat aura for at least fifteen seconds. Uh, you just have a, have to have uh, enough health and make sure you're only standing in the aura of one. Fulfill a range exchange request between noon and two p.m. So it's just doing it immediately. That's not that hard. Have three different veggie gardens on the ranch at the same time. Again, you'll have that. Pretty accurately. Earn over 25,000 new bucks. Yep. Uh, three different fruit trees. Yep. Uh, onward to science. Fabricate your first science slime science gadget. Um, again, easy. Feed 100 chickens to slimes on the ranch. Easy. <laughs> I like the name of that. Uh, fabricate 35 slime gadgets. You'll get that with your drills, more most likely. Start bringing life back to the glass desert. I don't know how much of that you have to do. Uh, join the 7Z Rewards Club. Use chroma packs to change that color of everything. Send an adorable chick to a fiery end, the same place you're now destined uh, to go. So you take a baby chick and you throw it in the incinerator. And then incinerate an elder chicken. Uh, have at least three types of Largos in the same corral. That's uh, that's super dangerous and don't recommend that at all. Um, I think I just quickly put them all in there and took them out. Place a tar on the number one slime stage. I think that one was kind of hard. Uh, you had to have a number one slime stage, and then you had to make a Largo on your farm and then bring it over there. Score 50 points in a single game of Slime Ball? That one sucked. Um, I didn't like that. Uh, jump into a corral containing at least 40 slimes? That's easy. Just throw, like, 50 fucking pink slimes in a thing. Uh, constrain more than 15 slimes in your backstream at once uh, while on the range. So I think you can do that. I don't know if on the range means you can't do it in your farm, but I think you can just fucking gulp up 50 slimes, then send them all in like a small area, and then just try and vacuum all up again. Uh, I have at least 10 types of Largos on the ranch. I think I have that right now. Um, so I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8. But, because I think you'll only ever need 5 or 6, maybe? Because um, there's 20 total slimes, and then of those 20, there's, uh, there's the Saber Slime, there's the um, the lucky slime and the gold slime. So really, there's only 17. So you should have nine different types, I think, and that doesn't include pink. So eight different types. Um, I think I did that math right. I might be forgetting a slime. Um, but yeah, you should only really need eight different kinds of largos if you're going for everything. No, actually, what am, my math is off. Hold on. So there's pink, rock. Um, so pink, rock, tabby, phosphorus, uh, boom, rad, honey, hunter, crystal, um, tangle, mosaic, 
uh, Tangle or uh, and uh, Whirlwind. That's eleven. Where the fuck did I get twenty? There's twenty secret styles, but I don't think that applies to everything. Oh, because I'm forgetting like Quicksilver and um, uh, and Glitch as well. So there's eleven different types of slimes. Um, and then one of them is pink, so you don't need that. And then there's Saber, so really there's 12. Um, but there's So you don't need pink, that's 11. So you should really only have 5 to 6 different um, Largos. So you have to kind of, kind of go out of your way. Complete adventure mode and set up for what's next. Just get to the end of the glass desert. Return the ranch after more than 24 hours. I can't believe it took me that long to get that one. Um, reach at least 75,000 uh, new bucks in rush mode. That one's kind of tough. Um, that required a separate playthrough, but it was fairly quick. This is the last trophy I got, and it took me a while. I literally had to run around in circles, and... <laughs> um, so th you can either hit the same slime three times, or you can wait until you have Golden Trick Shot, which I think will automatically make sure they have they pop out three. Um, I think I, I tried to go for this one area that had a bunch of uh, gold slimes, and then I failed, and then I had to go do the uh, Golden Trick Shot instead. I think that's what happened. Um... But I think it'd be cool to do a platinum playthrough of that, because then I could end it with rush mode, um, which is kind of interesting. Rush mode is a very strange challenge. It's not like hard, but it's fa it's like kind of stressful, because you have to get everything like sort of optimized. Imagine it's kind of like speedrunning the game in a way. Like you're doing the best you can as fast as you can. Um, I think even, I think mine went so fast. I even managed to get dro or drones. So I, th I think I forget what the catch is. I think it's like you only get four in-game days, but all of the slime uh, keys are unlocked. I think that's the uh, the trick to that. So there's so you can go anywhere, um, but you only have four days. I think the trick to it is just getting the late ones like Mosaic, um, Tangle Vine, and Dervish, but. Um, Oh boy, my PS4 is really revving up. What is it with this area? Um, but yeah, you get those four. Um, these, these look so weird. <laughs> they look like Winnie the Pooh. Um, you get those four, and then you can pretty much just like go all in on them. Make sure you. I think the key that I did was I did. I waited to sell them all until right before it ended. Oh my god, that's so many fucking briar hens. Um, I think that was the trick, is that you wait until the market is just about to close in that last day, so you make sure the prices are all still really high for all the slimes, and you just go ham. It wasn't too hard. I believe there's a hunter here. Knowing this fucking game, he's invisible. Um, I think the hunter is supposed to be in this area. I just don't know where. Again, knowing this area or knowing this game, he could be actually invisible. Where the fuck is he? Also, I haven't seen a single treasure pod, and I have never been to this area in this uh, playthrough, which kind of is throwing me for a loop a little bit. I don't think he's invisible. Which means I'm just not finding him. I thought he was supposed to be in this general area, but I guess I could be wrong. Treasure pod! Oh, fuck off, game. I remember he was, like, near one of these trees, and I thought it was this one. Which would put him over here-ish. Um, or at least within its range. Which is why it made sense that he was over there, but I don't see him. I have so many chickens that I want to offload. Alright, I need there to be something hidden here. Your resources are not even picking you up. Red Warp Depot, sweet. Now where's the red uh, teleport? Oh, I do have another teleport. I, I made the um, the green one. I don't, I don't think I put down a return point though. Which would have been intelligent. I'll do that before I go to the uh, to the desert. He has to be around here, right? Is he literally just invisible? Is that am I stupid? Am I in the wrong area? Like, what's going on here? 
the side here? No. Where is this fuck? Maybe he's by one of the other trees. I could look it up again, but I'd rather just, like, actually search for a little bit. I don't think he'd be in the feral area. Also, I spent a lot of time in, in other playthroughs looking for... Um... For hunter slimes. The fact that they're just all fucking here. Ah, uh, here he is. You sneaky fuck. He was invisible. So they do require 50 to explode. Oh my god, get out of here. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Hey. Uh, nothing good. Oh my god. Guys, please. Well, that chicken's fucked. Um, cool. Well, that's one. Um, go track down the, um, the quantum one. That's why I have all these Q-berries, by the way. They were just... The, the Q-berry feeder was already full. And, um... I had, like... I, I literally sucked up 81 from the plot. Um, and I was like, well, I guess, uh, I guess I can use these instead of trying to find quantums. Uh, or instead of trying to find uh, the quantum lemons. Or phase lemons. I keep calling them quantum lemons. I'm really doing a double back here because I'm trying to see if I left any um, treasure pods behind. Because I know I was mostly going through the tree treetops here, so good chance I could have missed something. Um, I mean, if not, it doesn't matter, but I'd like to find it if I can. Um, I'm trying to get as much as I can here. It is kind of weird that you don't have to actually finish the, um, the Mirage Desert to, uh, to get the Platinum. There's a couple weird things about the Platinum. Um, Alright, if I go back this way... I'll eventually get back to my, um, my teleporter. Um, but overall, it's, again, not hard. Just, they've got some, what, what I really like about it is that there's challenge-based ones, and then there's just, like, stuff for doing random shit. Um, I can't believe this has been here this entire time. You could be kidding me. That is, uh, upsetting. Right under my nose, literally. Um... But yeah, I like weird challenges, like, you know, stand in a red's range for so long. Oh, fuck yeah. I got sunglasses. I really should utilize these. I think it's because I get the, you get the fashion pods so late that you, like, you just don't want to mess with your farms at that point. Um, or at least that's how I feel. Um, what was I going to do? I came back here for a reason. Oh, the teleporter. Here again. That seems out of the way. Um, I'll put it in the main area, I guess. No, oh, actually, it's more of I don't want to forget that I have it. And that area is kind of full up already. I guess I could remove one of the drills. I don't really need them anymore. Um, I mean, it's it feels dumb because I worked so hard to make them, but not even using them anymore. Okay. Um, let's go back to the desert. That would be the way to go. No. Uh, yes. Yes. Wrong teleporter. Um, so to get to the quantum area, um, we have to go all the way fucking back now. This is still the fastest way to get here, I think. It's not that far out of the way either, so... I don't mind doing this part. Wow, these guys are fast. I don't think he meant to be that fast, but he was. <laughs> um, I'm really curious what the other um, 7Z Club rewards are. I'm not going to get to any of them, but... I also like that I got the one that I needed exactly, like, in my first playthrough. How long have I been playing this? I think I started playing this on Friday night. Um, it's now Sunday in the afternoon, so I probably, um, no, I think, I was gonna say, am I faster now? And I, I did take a break and play, like, other games and shit, so, I guess, 
I don't know. I'm, I was basically trying to think if I played this naturally, would I have mashed or beat my platinum um, time? I don't think I would have. I think I literally, I literally like stood, stayed up. The only break I took was to order Domino's and go pick it up from across the street. Um, I looked at my old house, and that's it. The rest of the time it was just spent uh, getting through here. So I don't know. I don't think I would. I think I probably. Oh boy, okay. I think I probably would have beaten it. Or I, or I don't think I could beat my own time unless so like I really, really sat down and tried. And the only reason I even like got that close was because I played the game on PC so much. Like there was definitely some stuff I hadn't done, but it was like for the most part I was like, yeah, I know, uh, I know where I'm going. I'll bet if I play this game again in like a year or something like that, I'm not gonna remember anything. Like I remember the basics. I'll definitely forget the same dumb shit. Like I'll forget the um, the phosphorus gordo. I'll forget some of the other gordos. I'll forget the secret slime locations. I didn't get the quantum gordo, did I? I don't remember. I don't, I think I might have seen it and ignored it. But that should be about it. I don't think I actually did anything with him. And all I know is that he's vaguely in this area, which means he's probably through there. But can I get through there already? I guess not. Does that lead to the same place? I don't think it does. Yeah, this looks like the only way to get in there is uh, activating the switch. No? Huh. I think it's supposed to, it's definitely supposed to be in this area. Um, but where? Did I already get the quantum Gordo? I don't remember it at all. If I did, it must have literally been with shit I had on hand. Which is impressive, but not what I think happened. I like genuinely don't remember. I don't even think I came this way before. So that doesn't track. I'm also like avoiding the area this actually is. It should be in this general area. Which means there's, there's an underground like room here. That would explain it. But I don't think there is. Or it would be like right there. Um, or right there. Let me look up the exact spot. Because, like, this is exactly where it should be. Um, I also had to switch and use my ad blocker. Um, uh, I had to use my ad blocker browser on my phone. Because I got so fucking sick of, uh, fandom's ads. Fandom has some great information written by some great people. The website itself can be trash. Um, there's so much fucking ads on this website. I'm like, I get it, like, you want me to buy shit, and I'd be happy to, but you're just pissing me off at this point. Ah, okay. I was on the right track, but slightly off. Um, so I think it's... Let me reopen that. Boop. Um. It's definitely hidden under something. It's under, like, a, an awning. Um, it should be under here, maybe? Maybe it's... So it looked like B was standing, like, right here. Oh, uh, here we go. Aha! I literally see him. Yeah, that's, that's really well hidden. I never would have found that on my own. Like, there's not a chance... I like how the switch was activated, though. That's funny. Like, there's no way. That's so well hidden. Oh my god. I will never remember this thing is here again. I should have more than enough keys at this point. I should just open any vaults I come across. Beep. Uh, nothing. Is this a carrot? Where are you? Heartbeat. Uh, nope. Nothing. 
Sweet. All right. Well, that was the last there. So we'll go back to um. Uh, we'll go back. We'll finish the fight. Yeah, it's been about thirty minutes now. Should have more than enough time to finish this. Um, I know there's more ruins, but it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm taking the break. I'm gonna look at um. I'm gonna look up the emergency club. Um, actually, there's a get out of jail free teleport right there. Boop. Okay. Um, club. Uh, 7Z Rewards Club. Alright, we are on Golden Shore Shots. Um, which I would like to find out what it actually does. So there's the Titan Drill, the Abyssal Pump, and the Royal Ap Apiary. Which all do the same thing. You get your third slime trophy for the next one after this too. Which just adds the third slime stack, I think. Um, the docks get upgraded at 26 with a gold slime lamp recipe, gold warp depot, gold teleporter, and then slime trophy 4. That's pretty much it. I would have liked to see the docks upgrade, but, like, so the money that you need for the next one is 120,000, and then it's 150, 150, 150, 150, 150. And I do not have that kind of cash. You'd have to play for a while to get that, too. Um... What am I going to need? Am I missing a Gordo? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything I need. Just just go. Cool. I'll keep the Q-berries just in case, I guess. Um, but I think that's probably it. Um, I could definitely see playing this game for a longer time. Like, if it required me to finish that, I would happily do it. Because um, that's super fun. Um... But because it doesn't, I'm sort of just like, eh. I can start taking the shortcuts now, because I have six goddamn slime keys. I like that I managed to find, like, two of the only ones that don't give keys. So the way, the way I read it is that the rock, tabby, and pink slimes that are, like, duplicates or, like, leads somewhere don't give you anything. But the other ones do. All right. I hear that dumb shaking, which I think is supposed to mean there's a gold ginger nearby, or gilded ginger. But then again, midnight did just pass, so maybe it just disappeared, because now I don't hear it anymore. I have no idea. Also, remember that time I died under here? Yeah, good, good fucking times. Happy memories. Um, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to... I'm gonna leave that. That being said, where did that? Where did I come from? I still have no idea what that sound is supposed to be. Like I know, I'm not going under there. I'm just not. I'm not that dumb. I'm gonna try and water this one plate, this one area. That might uh reveal some of this. Um, because. It shouldn't be that hard to get the water over there. Oh, good. Good, good start. Thanks. Okay. Um, thanks. I um, I might not make it because I keep just fucking stumbling over myself. All right, I've got ten seconds. I can make that. <laughs> say, watch me miss, because I don't have any jetpack in the last 10 seconds. Coolio. Oh my god, Tangle Vine Slimes are fucking horrifying. Um, well, if you're going to grow a guilt, so the Gilded Ginger grows once a day in the uh, desert somewhere. I just don't know where that is. I'm going to leave before they all become Tar Slimes. Um, that's neat. I know there's a few others um, that still need it, but I don't know where or why. Okay. Um, so I've been here already. Um, 
This is about where I popped the, uh, the mosaic one, I think. We got angry fucking booms. Alright. So if we look on our map, we're trying to get to the top there. So there's another... So we've got another thing here. There's no way you can get this far with the water. Which means that there's probably another thing you have to do with the um, statues, I would assume. Could be wrong. Um, maybe they do just expect you to get the water over here. Or maybe there's another point where you can get the water. Um, I'm not actually sure. I would think if there was a trophy or a, a statue, it'd be up here. Coil grass. Um, alien ground cover is among the first one in the sprout when the desert races are restored. Neato. Another mail from Casey. I'm getting close. Um, yeah, I don't see any other statues. I'm not actually sure how they expect you to get all the way over here. Ah, oh, yeah, they are. Which, which one are you? Oh, I think that's Dervish. I mean, they eat fruit, right? They probably do this right here. Where's another Dervish? Hey, give me that. I wonder if you can trick the game. No. I was like, I wonder if it knows that it just ate. I should have brought the tofu. That's what I should have done. Although, I don't think I'll have to. Okay. Hey, guys. It's your boy. Fruit. Can you... Can you guys fucking relax, please? Jesus. Oh, what do you... Eat it. Don't let the pink slime eat it. Okay. So there should be two more statues. I don't have to do this, but you know what? I'm here. And I've never done it before, so why not? Um, maybe I do have to do it, by the way. I like. It could be something that, because it was at the end of the playthrough, I just like blocked it out. And I was like, yeah, I did that once. Never again. I've been known to do that. Alright, we found one. Still need two more. It could be anywhere. Um, my guess is there's probably one up top, because of course there is. Um, as for the other one, it could be anywhere. Once it turns daylight, it'll probably be easier to get a view of this place. Um, okay. Oh, there's a, another one. Watch them require more this time. Well, there it is. It's about where I expected it to be, to be fair. We have another thing from Harvey over there. Just read up on that. Um, where is the final one? I mean, it just makes sense for it to be, like, right here. Um, got one I'm missing. Alright, it only needs one more? Okay. I was just double checking. Like, are you gonna pull a sneaky on me? You're gonna make this one five for some reason? Because that would be a, a little upsetting, considering I'm still struggling to find th like three. The fuck is it? I feel like it could be anywhere. Oh my god, there's three of these. Um, something leads over there. Yeah, that's the end. Um. Which means there's some other shit. Other places. Where the fuck is it? There's one there. There's one down below. The water's there. Where would it make sense for the last one to be? Let's go over here first, because there's a thing from Harvey over there. Um, I would think it would make sense to be here. But maybe not. It's one heck of a scorch. Oh, I've actually read that. Um, okay. So it's definitely going to be in this general area. Um, would it be up or down? Maybe it's even higher. Maybe it's on top of this thing. 
fucking forgot quantum slimes exist. That's crazy. So I used to them only spawning in one place. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at me. Mr. fucking puzzle solver. I was like, maybe it'll be up instead. The game likes putting things up high. Okay. Um, well, oh, I was going to say, I don't want to make that shot, but you know what? I don't think I have to because definitely have to get over there now. It's going to be a purple teleporter. Thundering glass sculpture. Cool. All right. Can you just, like, take this without me? Okay, I was going to say, without me having to do much work. All right. Uh, okay. So we got this one. And then there's another one over this way, I think. I'm coming. Gonna bring life back to this area. Neat. I'm glad I did that. I feel better with myself. So this uh, aura that they're all in, fun fact is that tar slimes can't uh, can't survive in there. So that's a cool thing to do. I was gonna say I feel like there'd be one more. Felt like that wasn't like the full um, treatment yet. Also, your meteors don't scare me. It does seem kind of weird that they don't. Um, they don't have like a special um, like material that drops only during this like storm. Like that seems like something they would do. Maybe I've played too many video games. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Yep. Okay. I'm hurrying to my- oh, fuck me. I don't know if I can get back up there. Definitely just, like, hurrying too much. I wonder if this game is on Switch. This game would do really well on the Switch, I feel like. Um, okay. I don't know if the Switch could handle it. Although, the Switch can handle Last Remnant. I think it can handle this. I say the Switch can handle Last Remnant. It's sold on there. I haven't actually seen gameplay of it. <laughs> so I can't confirm. Um, Alright, neat. I feel accomplished. Something happened here. Oh, there's a uh, silver parsnips. Cool. I think both prickly pears and silver parsnips I ended up finding... Someone ended up giving them to me before I actually found them in the wild. It was the last useful um, slime exchange thing. Well, I've made this beautiful oasis. Um... I've, uh, I think I've done everything I can. It's time, guys. We gotta just take a leap. So, it says there's an area over there. I don't know what's over there. Oh, boy. Just slowly watching my jetpack, being like, am I gonna make this? Coco teleporter. Neat. Um... Why is it not letting me do the jump? I keep starting the jetpack instead of jumping, and it's bothering me. Um, let's pop down another uh, teleporter if we can. Um, it makes sense to put it down there, I think. No, it makes sense to do it up high. Alright, green teleporter is active. What do you got for me? Quite a sight to gaze upon the sand sea out there, no? I've scoured every corner of the desert, and everywhere I look, that sand sea stretches to the horizon. Each one just to where the heck on the far, far range you are when the slime sea is nowhere to be found. Um, oh, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> We're not connected to the regular map. Um, I like how he's getting more chatty as we uh, get closer. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because the search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched the secrets from the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door I met. 
Uh, I met Thora and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. Uh, what he doesn't tell you is that both the doors lead to the same place. And that fate is beyond our comprehension or ability to change. That's not true. I don't believe that. I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. Packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped on the platform, my heart racing. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Thor's ranch. I look, I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before, never known anything like it. It's the, first, it's the time I got knowing what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. H. Seems like a wasted opportunity to not hear from him, considering we're constantly in contact with Dora. Why can I hear wind chimes? What the fuck is going on? Well, now what the fuck do I do? Is there a puzzle here, or am I just stupid? I don't know what to do with these. They don't accept plorts. What options do I have? <laughs> um, this is definitely the end. I just don't know what to trigger here. Hear those dumb fucking jingles again. Is it possibly on top of this thing? It must be. Come right back. Um, I mean, that's supposed to be the end. I swore there was like a fucking... I swore there was a credit sequence. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna run out. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stupid fucking wind chimes. Why do I keep hearing wind chimes? Hello. What's all this then? We got some crazy contraption going on here. Wind chimes always sound like they're above me. And yet they weren't. I don't know what the game wants me to do. I can't activate anything here. Can I? I don't know what I would have to do differently here. I keep hearing this sound over here. Um, I'm literally going to look it up because I'm like, I want to make sure I'm actually just doing this correctly. Um... Adventure mode. Oh, wait, hold on. As I'm reading this, I'm like, did I just realize the fucking difference? <laughs> Two doors. One was already open. What happens if I change it? What happens if I go through the other door? Nothing, you say. Crazy. Wait, hold on. What happened with these shadows that just appeared? It's 3 p.m., sir. I really have no idea. All right, let me keep reviewing.
Okay, so I guess um, something I suspected. You basically have to go back and read Casey's last email, too. Um, I don't know if it doesn't get triggered until after you um, you do that part. Um, or if there's another one that gets added or that we're like a mail behind. The reason I'm confused is that I went a long time without getting a Casey email and I randomly got one when I was doing um, maintenance after the last video. And then we got one while we were out here. So I'm like very confused in what triggers Casey. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna go back here. So we'll, uh, we'll see, I guess. Um, so I think that that ends it, and then you'll, we'll get an email from uh, from Hoxton, where the fuck his name is, um, that uh, that should allow us to um, do the three post-game vaults. And that should be uh, should be all we need. Let me see. Wow, this looks cool as fuck. Um, seriously, the environments in this game are rad as fuck, and the idea to turn the glass desert into, like, this oasis is so fucking cool. Like, that little dome is just really fun. I also like that we're technically in a different... Like, I, I've never determined if the Far Far Range is, like, another planet or something, because... Um... They just call it the Far Far Range. I don't know if it's like a cluster of planets or what. They never even mentioned the word planet. Are the slimes technically aliens? Is this Earth? I don't know what's going on. I don't know any of this. Um, I don't know why I came back in here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back. Hey, we're back. Hi, Ranch. I missed you. Now, let's, uh, let's read an email. Re London. I know it was the right thing to do. I appreciate you letting me know, but it never felt the same as having you close by. London was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. An opportunity to tour and do what I love. But I still missed you like crazy. When you And when you told me about going to the far, far range, it made me miss you even more. Even before you were gone. I guess that's just us. We really just... What we really want just so happens to be in different parts of the known universe. I mean, there's long distance, then there's being so far away that time itself might actually function differently. Why aren't there more songs about that, huh? So I guess we are in a different part of the universe. I guess, thank you for confirming. That was not Casey's last email. Um, what the fuck am I supposed to do in the, in the meantime, then? I guess I can go splash my drones. Wake them up. Wake up! Um, so I assume all of them are asleep at this point. Make sure no chaos is going on. I don't. I think they all should have had plenty of food. For once, I was actually managing all of my slimes pretty well. I think every single one of them was full. Um, uh, seven, seven. Hey, I can get rid of these. The perfect number, too. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the only one. The, uh, the Oka Oka fiends. I'm the only ones not eating. I have five more slime keys. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. I think I have to use a certain number of slime keys for that to trigger, too. That was part of the uh, the ending. So I might go and see if um, if there's anything that, like, needs... Um, oh, boy, yeah, they're... Uh, they're freaking the fuck out. They're all holding them in their fucking mouths. But they have enough food, so what the fuck is the issue? I don't want you guys creating uh, your shit. Stop it. Better cut your shit. Calm the fuck down. Ah, fuck! <laughs> they, they stole one of the drones! Oh my god, you poor baby. Um, no wonder fucking nothing's been sold. He literally got trapped in the pen. Um, that's pretty funny. Um, probably got caught up in the whirlwind. There's a lot of food in there. Oh my god. Um, alright, well, I mean, I can help, I guess. Um, it is cool being able to suck up a hundred now, because a lot of the game, like, makes sense now. 
Like, everything is, like, stored at a maximum of 100 things, so only being able to car carry 50 kind of sucked. I think the drones can only carry 50 at a time, too. Um, which is less than bueno. Uh, I'll let him take care of those ones, though. Um, sweet. These ones back up in price. Saber Slam drops drastically, but that's fine. Alright, made a cool amount of money. Um, not gonna be 120. It's not gonna be enough to uh, offset that, but that's fine. Um, grab some Oka Oka. Grab a lot of Oka Oka. Oh my god. I'm mostly just doing this out of habit. I don't actually have to do anything other than like waste time. I wonder if I have to be off the uh, the rain. I could just sleep, I guess. I wouldn't feel right if I did that before I made sure that everyone was fed, though. The uh, the drones aren't that smart. All right, I'll throw like ten into the pen. So just assume you're all starving. Um, I wonder if the drones work when you sleep through. Like, I wonder if, um, if they're smart enough to do that. Um, let's see. Let's find out. Splash some more water. I could check my, uh, my other boys. If the pink slimes get rowdy, I don't really care too much, but everyone else I do care. Oh, look at that. Another ch good chunk of change. Yeah, it didn't surprise me that they, uh, they would run out. But I think their food should be good. I don't know, they actually ran out. Look at you guys. I didn't think you'd ever run out of food. How did you run out of food? There's nothing in the pen. What the fuck happened? I might have to go down to the, uh... Oh my god, there's so many of these, though. I might have to go to the, um... Other area. I can't believe they didn't, um... Get any food. I wonder if they'd just been grabbing them. Because they're close enough to um, the pen. That would make sense. I mean, I guess they just need vegetables, right? It doesn't really matter how much they make. It does and it doesn't. I'll, uh, I'll check to see if I have, a bun I have like an excess amount of silver parsnips. And if I do, I'll grab those. Uh, and if I don't, then I'll just grab carrots. Easy peasy. I've got some. I'll throw these in the feeder. And then... Um, I'll throw carrots into the pen, I guess. I could steal from some from, uh, from these guys. Since they seem to be doing fine. Oh my god. Do they ever. It's like they teleported all the fucking parsnips over here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about them. How many do you have in your fucking feeder? Yeah, you'll be fine. Jesus. Alright. And then uh, I'll take a quick nap. See if uh, see if any everyone uh, makes me money. I might be able to buy the next uh, secret style, which would be cool, but I'm not really expecting too much. That's mango, or mint mangoes, which they're full on. Okay, I'm making sure. Uh, I forgot about the beets. Yeah. Heartbeats of the other um, manual part. I can't believe I made it all the way to the glass desert without having spent 24 hours off the fucking farm. That seems wild to me. Like, I shouldn't have been off that long. Or I should have been off longer than that, I feel like. Okay. Good. Now they're fed. It is really handy to just like grab an entire auto feeder worth of food from the uh, from the things. I'll say that. All right. I don't know how much more you need. You are. They have eaten. What the fuck? They literally must have just been grabbing it from that other plot. I can't think of anything else they would have done. Or they they like just ran out as I got here. You know, for being dangerous slimes, I don't think they really gave me much trouble. I don't think I ever saw the quantum slimes escape their pen in this either. 
I've seen that happen in other playthroughs, but I guess I just constantly fed her, kept them uh, in check. Alright, we're gonna sleep until morning. Which wasn't that long. So we're gonna sleep until another morning. We've got mail. Life is different now. I had a year to think about the things while you slept on your way across the stars. I think it almost scared me when things got easier. When I finally realized that we have each other now. Uh, that what we have... That what we each have now is what we wanted all along. Because if you're still the girl I know, you're happy out there in your farthest frontier. And I hope the happiness you feel now lasts forever. I hope that the sunsets over there are as gorgeous as they are over here. And that if you search far enough on a rainy day, some rancher out there has a taco stand you can visit. I realize that last one probably isn't likely to happen, but it sure would be romantic, right? I'm glad to have shared a part of me with you, Beatrix Labu, and I'm happy to know that maybe one of those stars I see up there in the sky is you. Depressing! Um, I did make money. Look at that. These, these guys. Oh, wow. There's so many plorts in the ground. You guys need to do your goddamn jobs. I'm going to change this. Just, just get rid of that shit. Plorts. From... Um, Port collectors to the port. No, to the. Nope, hold on. I, I messed up. To the port market. And then. Also gonna change you. Ports from the port collectors instead of silos? Nah, put that shit straight in the port market. Um, okay. So they should still be feeding them. <clears throat> I'm gonna quickly pop in the other areas. Um, I guess I'll open a slime door or two. There's like one or two I can think of that I, uh, I should go water them actually. Um, that I'm, I could open fairly easily. There's one, oh boy, there's a lot here. I wonder how long the, uh, droids run. Also, did I just hear a uh, fucking tar slime? No. You're fed? How the fuck did you escape? Why did you escape? That's so odd. You literally have more food than you can ever want. And you escaped. I question this. Now, that should carry me over for a while again. Um, okay, I'll let that go. I guess I'll quickly go open a slime door. And, uh... See what I can do there. I'm sure there's one like. Um, well, I know there's the one near the ruins in the entrance that I uh, I never opened. I know there's one very close to where the teleporter is um, that just leads to another part of the place. Um, yeah. Okay, you're still good on food too. I really don't have much to worry about. Dump the rest in there. I don't care. Um, heartbeat's probably low. Nope, they're still fine too. They just don't eat that often. I guess a better way to say that would be I don't feed them often. <laughs> I had them feed at like normal feed speed, so that should be fine. Um, but I'm sure some of them are still hungry. I almost pulled that one out of the pen. Those are all watered. Let's go check on this one. I'm sure they're causing me mischief. No, they're just making me money. Man. I love that you can make that shop from so far away. Well, they're exploding. You've got food. What do you want from me? I'm not going to bother with the, uh, the pink ones because they don't really matter. Um... Also here, I have a chicken. Like how I hit that one, he just goes, Bleh! just bounce back. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a look. What day is it? Looking Sunday. I genuinely didn't know what day it was just now. How many carrots can you stock here? Oh my god! I feel like I have to do this just because it's so goddamn cruel. Like they're staring right at it. <laughs> the poor boys. I actually had over a hundred carrots there. 
Guess the Miracle Mix is doing its thing. They're not rotten. Here I was thinking Oka Oka was the one that grew the most. I'm gonna feed you until there's too much. <laughs> just, just gluttonous. Okay. Wake up. Alright, um, quickly go back to the desert. I should grab some carrots just in case um, I come across some fucking jabronis that need to get hit in the head. Okay. What a fire slam. Ow. I didn't mean to go there. Hey, look. Damn it. Um, meant to go here. So there's one over here that I didn't get. I don't know how many total I've opened now. But I want to make sure I meet that requirement. I mean, that's at least one, two, three. That's at least five. What? Is this? what? Another secret slime? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, the mosaic one. I forgot I never got it. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if I beat the game and didn't get that? Um, okay, so they need mosaic plorts. I mean, why not, right? I see one, two... Where's the third statue? I'll do it. Fuck it. I'm killing time at this point. Um, I think I have one more yell from Casey. I'm willing to bet. Um, Goddamn, I can't believe I missed it. I had no idea this was its own separate area. I probably should have known that. Oh. Oh, no! It made me sad. Well, it should be easy enough to get mosaics. They eat fucking um, vegetables, don't they? I'll just throw carrots at them. There should be mosaics here. This is kind of their hangout. But I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's that last one. Well, now I've got to do this. Like, I'm already here. Oh, you know what it probably is? I'm not even noticing them, because I'm still looking for the old design. Or, I mean, fuck it. I could just go and grab fucking mosaic ones. So I like the original mosaic design. I'm curious if I like this one. Um, eh, not really. Just sort of looks like glass is hanging off of them. I don't really like that at all, actually. Um... Alright, they're not eating anything else. I'm gonna throw a tofu at them. Um, which is realistically what I should have been carrying. Okay. There's 270 fucking rock quartz in there. I guess it wasn't super high priority. Um, okay, I'll do that. Also, while we're here, let's read that email. Hi, B. There's another tour coming up. I have a feeling this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags, thinking of you. Maybe this is how I felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement and lots of butterflies. Even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowd. If that ever happens, I promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. Ah, oh, shit, that was the last one. That day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. She thought about Hobson and Thor and the adventures he had exploring the far, far range. Most of all, she thought of Casey and wondered where life would take her next. Oh, wait, Casey is a girl. Confirmed. Look at fucking Slime Rancher with their uh, black female lesbian protagonist. Now, this is cool, but I'm very worried this is going to get struck. I'll let this play out. If it doesn't, if this part isn't it, it's because I had to cut it. Again, huge, huge shout out to Moni Monomi Park. To my knowledge, this is the only game they've made, and they fucking knocked it out of the not to make a pun park. Um, look up Monomi Park. Monomi Park. Founded in 2014. Tiny Bash for Wild Dreamers and Mad Creators. 
currently developing our first project, which I'm willing to bet. Slime Ranger. Yep, that's it. Um, let's check the Twitter. Um, they're currently hiring. Look at that. Maybe I should apply. I technically work in the game industry. Oh. Oh, okay. I take it all back. <laughs> so, they have different ornaments per each weekend. This weekend it's Crystal and Tangle, which is why <laughs> that's all I could fucking find. And I thought they were common ornaments. They're not. Okay. Um... Look at this. Money of Parks out here retweeting people and stuff. I do think I got a kind of shitty um, weekend. The weekend before this was star ornaments and pink striped ornaments. I think that's cooler. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> they had mustache Gordo and coin for... Uh, Ones last time. Oh. Hey, I might have lied. Um, <laughs> whoops. I said I was playing Deluxe Edition. I'm not. Deluxe Edition comes out on the 26th. It's the 24th. Uh, the Deluxe Edition should have all of the same DLC. So I'm technically not lying. Um, uh, I might have... Lied though. For every pioneer on, the, on every new frontier, be brave, be bold, and stay wiggly. Well, alright, we're still got stuff to do though. Um, I should see if there's any differences so I'm not false advertising. Sly Keep Slime Rancher Deluxe Edition. <laughs> um, I'm trying to look on PlayStation, see if it has any different content. It's going to be 30 bucks, which is a fucking steal. Uh, so it comes with the secret style pack, the dynamic theme. Oh, I might fucking... I want that theme. Uh, and the full game. Yeah, so this is a deluxe edition. Um, more or less, I just have it separate. That's cool that you can get it first. Awesome. Um, all right. Um, I wonder if they'll update it on the 26th. And I wonder if they'll add anything to the game. Hobson Trilogers. I know that guy. Hello, Beatrix. Just want to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know I left it in a bit of a sorry state, and from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine these days. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. A little thank you. I've activated three secret vaults that I built years ago, stashed a small fortune of mine. I'd always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't need needing for that no more. You know me. I like a good adventure. I'm not telling you where the vaults are located. Go explore. Luckily for you, the internet exists. Um, because I will be looking for those vaults. Slime. Rancher. Malts. Um, ring. Oh my god! Just, just give me fandom. Whatever, I'll take it. It's fine. Um, I love that they play a little video at the top that has nothing to do with what you're looking for most of the time. So there's one. Um, does this map tell me anything? Um, oh shit. Um, so let's see, does this map actually tell me what it does, I think. So there's one on each of the islands, and then there's one on, um, uh, in the feral land. Okay. Well, I'll go look for the, those in a second. I still want to finish that, uh, that little island. I guess that, that I did only open four slime doors somehow. I guess I opened the one to the, to the rock area, to the forest, and then that was it. I sort of just said fuck it after that. <laughs> Eat the tofu! Right. That should be enough. I grabbed one extra just in case I fucking drop it. Um, cool. Again, I kind of wish that they like showed any interaction with like Hobson and uh, Thora, but you know, whatever. Okay, let's buy the next one. Next one is Slime Trophy and Abyssal Pump Blueprint. 
They say don't do this until you have Slime Sure Shot, which, you know, could mean a number of things. I guess there's like 403 total gold ports you can obtain here. So this might be my ticket. This might be like the most money I'm about to make. Um, but we'll see. Um, I should bring as much food as possible. I'm not going there yet. What am I doing? I was like all worried and I was like, never mind. It's literally not going to come up yet. Um, okay. Ah! I think this is Arius Barrel. Okay, so there's that one up there. There's one lower. My guess is there's one on this side. At the top. Um, where is the final one? This is weird. Why are you hiding it? Alright, well, before I do much of anything else... Okay, that's one. Oh my god! Oh my... <laughs> That was almost so bad. I would have been so upset. I would have lost all of my goddamn tofu. Uh, I would have fallen in the middle of this. Okay. Well. One more. And that's where the fucking fountain is. How do I get back up? Also, I'd be shocked if there wasn't like another one chilling here somewhere. Um... Also, are there two springs that I have to get, or only one? Um, let me see. So there's one right here. There's that fucking hole in the ground. There's one right there, so that's two. I guess there's only two, which I could probably do fairly easily. Where the fuck is the last one? I ain't playing game. I'm trying to I'm trying to save you. I right, move on with the rest of my game. <laughs> I don't even have to do this. New upgrade. Um, a single slime key, just in case you can't seem to find that last one. That's pretty cool. That's neat. So they give you one extra. Which I will not need. To my knowledge. Um, okay. Well, I found one. Where did I put another one? If I were me, or if I were a game designer, I mean, here would be where I'd put the other one. It's not here. Well, again, they tend to like putting things high, but we already have one that was low, too. So there would be one that's, like, level on the ground, right? In theory. Oh. Yes, dude. I like how I did actually nail that. Like, okay, there's one up high, there's one down low. This must be one that's, like, neutral on the ground. And sure enough, that's where it was. Um, I throw that part away. I don't need it. Can I grab you from here? Sure can. I wonder why I didn't try that with the other ones. I have a vacuum. Why didn't I try it from a distance? I feel like that's on me. That's one, two, to my knowledge, that's all that's here. There was no third one, but who knows, I've been wrong before. I don't think there's a third one. Coolio! <laughs> I'm out of energy. <laughs> really wishing they had that energy upgrade at some point. Alright, cool, we restored this. This is literally everything I could have done, I think. Alright, now for the vaults. Um, before I go to them, I'm going to make sure that my inventory is like absolutely full with items. Um, I don't want to fuck this up at any point, so... Um, I think the best thing I can do is gather as much um, of like a random ass fruit or carrots or something as possible. This sort of works. I might just pull them out of the fucking pink slime feeder, if I'm being honest. It seems easier to do it that way. Um, I only got seven. So that's full. Hey, get off your ass. 
You pull plorts. It's full on plorts. What are you doing? I wonder if it's full. That actually... Oh, it didn't even occur to me. Huh. Um... I... Um... Hold on. I have a very terrible solution for this. What if I just... plop down a market link? Would, would that work for you? What if I just change your uh, programming? From... there to... there. Now you sell these. That's your job now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to grab as many, I guess, heartbeats? I'm trying to think of what like I'll have plenty of. Oh yeah, here we go. I need to be able to spam these. Um, which is the main reason that I'm doing this. Heartbeats doesn't seem like a good option, actually, because I don't have that many of them. Tofu isn't either, actually. Um, the mint will probably be good. I guess I'll... You know what'll be good? The prickly pears. I'll have tons of those. I'll put uh, the tofu back. Am I over-preparing for this? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Um, you'll see when we get there. I haven't actually gotten to show off what to do with gold slimes, because I literally haven't encountered one in the wild. I found one in the slimulation. I found th two lucky slimes, which give you money instead. I found two of those outside of the the um, in the real world, and failed both of them, might I add. Did not handle them very well. <laughs> um, but gold slimes I haven't actually had to deal with. They're very fast. They take a lot. Um, the goal is to hit them three times. Um, which I may or may not be able to do. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I could go for Gilded Ginger. I'm not going to. I don't need to. So, The first one should be on the island that we already have um, uh, a teleport on. So I might as well just go straight there. Did not think this would pay dividends, to be honest, but I'll take it. Okay. I have no idea how to find it, though. I just know that the vault is on this island. I quickly looked at a map. Um, I don't remember what the vault looks like. I guess these don't exist in the um, uh, in rush mode. They just have a go uh, golden gordo just chilling there instead. Because they would kind of break the game, so that makes sense. I don't think I've used... Actually, so I used the master um, uh, drills, I think, a few times. If, you, if you're if you playing this and you're like, I want resources, find those blueprints as soon as possible. Because not only are they super useful and they're cheap, um, they I feel like they had better odds of getting... Um, uh, more rare items. That could just be confirmation bias, but it felt like I got more rare items when I used them. Um, I'm gonna quickly take this look around, but honestly, I'm we're getting kind of long here, so I think I've just gotta just gotta look it up. Um, okay, let's let's find this. Um, so it's near the two. Oh, it should be there. It should be ahead this way. I think. It should be in this general area. I was in the right track. God, there's so many of you. I unlocked the vaults, right? So I should... Should have them? Where the fuck, um... Where are they? So it says... 
It's... Oh, okay. It's like a little bit above the, um... The one on the left. Which means it's probably up there. I read the map wrong. Hey guys, wow. Having a party, are we? Jesus. I can't even get these, uh, these fucking rocks. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, I think it's still even higher. Which makes sense. But I was gonna put the vaults somewhere. It would make sense to put it in, like, the highest point. This also makes sense why, even though the Gordo was, like, lower down, you could still go higher. It should be, like right around here. It might be up top there, I think. Yep. I think that's the ball. Um, it looks like a giant fucking screw. Hell yeah. Alright. Get fucking ready. I don't remember which vault is which. Oh, you need slime keys for them, too. Well, that's handy. So, there's gonna be a bunch of gold slime. I'm gonna hit the fuck out of them. Um, or maybe there won't be. Oh, I think I remember. There's just a bunch of gold ports in this one. Alright, well. I guess I forgot that I'm going to need to carry the gold ports somehow. Um, I'm going to sell all of these. That's that's the plan. Is to uh, go nuts. Sell as many gold ports as I can. Well, this is an easy one. There's, um, there's three of these vaults, and they're all different, I think. I should just open these now, actually. Not gonna touch that switch yet. Don't know what you do. Such a satisfying sound. I guess I could make, uh, gold versions of the furniture, but, like, why would I? Not really offering me anything. Depends how many I get, I guess. I'm sure I can only hold so many. I should definitely tag back to the ranch before I go to each place. Oh, well. Um, sir? Excuse me. I think there's been some mistake. Oh, wait, hold on. I see now. I think I had to do that. So weird. Like, why the fuck would I care about feral slimes now? They're nothing to me. I wonder if it's possible for me to get up there. Not using this method, I don't think. I'm close, though. I feel like I'm close. Does this connect back to the other area? Is that what this is? What was the point of this? And this doesn't lead anywhere, so I don't think there was a reason to do that. I guess it's just more of like if you did. That's weird. There's two different uh, teleports here. I guess it's if you um uh if you my brain is not working. Um, currently we're at 500. Ah oh, shit! I've got one day to do all of this. Fuck it. Here we go. Challenging myself. Alright. So the next one is on the Rock Island, which isn't that hard for me to get to. Um, it is... Okay, in the top right. Okay. And we're moving. Um, didn't even need to do anything with the gold ports there. That's neat. So we have our, um, our teleporters somewhat near there. Um, the gold one? Yeah. Or yellow one. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to get to. If I don't let my jetpack recharge, it's gonna be, uh, gonna be a bad time. We're out of time, here we go. Ah! I definitely like that look to the rad slimes more. It's kind of how I feel like they should have been designed. Okay. So we're going for the top right. It's directly that way. Probably up high. I think the one that has the, um... 
uh, all the gold slimes loose in it is the um, uh, is the forest one. It's the only one that's not like secluded, I guess. I mean, it isn't. It isn't. Oh, I forgot this level was all about crystal slimes. Um, excuse me, gents. Um, you're gonna turn into tar slime soon. That's that's how this always goes. I would very much like it if you could wait until I was gone. Okay, it's not there where it's supposed to be. I think it's further up this way. Oh no! Hold on. I don't think I'm gonna make that jump. It's a bit too high for me. Um. I need to find another way up. Ah, oh, shit. Treasure pod? Hell yeah. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Fire flower patch. See, that's kind of dope. I kind of wish I'd found that earlier. I need to make, like... See, that's the thing. It's like, I'm too pragmatical. Like, there's a part of me that's, um... Oh, there's the fucking vault. There's a part of me that's like... Yeah, I'd love to make all these decorations, but they require the exact same materials that, um... Like, the actual stuff requires. Like, the upgrades to your farm and stuff. And I can't well, I can't allow that. Okay, so this is another of these. Did you just drop one? Fuck off, game. What? The shit vault. Am I being trolled? What the fuck? I can't actually see if this is it. Sure seems like that's it. All right, game. I see your. I see your fucking games. Um. All right. Well, I'd like to believe that wasn't it. Um, but I think it was. Let me quickly. Look up if being trolled is part of this. Um, Alright, calm down, PS4. Let's relax. Um, let's look at the Ash Isle Vault. There are treasure pods inside which are all purple quality. Um, initial visit. After opening the slime, be the player's present with a room with a single purple pot on a raised platform, which, uh, when opened, drops a single gold ploy. The room is seemingly devoid of anything else. The only other area is being surrounded by slime seawater, and the only option is to turn back. Behind the platform, however, is a switch which raises the wall at the back, revealing the true extent of a giant water filled room with full of pur purple treasure pods. Aha! Turns out, there was some sneakiness going on here. How far down do I have to go? You motherfucker. I almost left. It was this close. Holy shit. Is this the one? I can't remember. Is this the one where the gold slimes are? It's one of these. Um, Alright, well, I guess... Here we go. It says in total 143 gold ports can be obtained here. Just gonna open them all. Have myself a field day. If any of these fall into the water, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna call it bad game design. <laughs> I was like, there's no way that's not a troll, right? There was definitely some secrets. I thought I gave it a good look, too. I guess not. Alrighty then. This is dope. I'm not going to be able to carry all of these, which is the upsetting part. Although, again, I guess it's not that hard to just, like, come right back. Um, it's just debating if it's worth it. Because, um, I do have another vault I have to get to.
This is uh, kind of crazy. You know what the craziest part is? This isn't even that much. Like, it is and it isn't. Like, I'm going to be able to walk away with 100, which is 50,000 on the market right now. Which isn't nothing, but, like, compared to the shit I have to spend, feels like nothing. <laughs> like, this is the highest the price really goes, too. Oh, I guess Mochi Mile can make it a little bit more. I guess. Um, alright. I'm gonna run back there. We have plenty of time. I'm glad I caught this at, like, 2 a.m. Um... Cool. Um, back we go. Back we go. And then we'll go to the last vault. Which is going to be the most hectic. Um, but I also think the most worth it. I really wish you could just capture golden slimes. The only thing I think it's possible is you can lure a golden gordo if you get the... Um, um, the Master Snare and you use a Gilded Ginseng on or what the fuck it's called. I'm not gonna pick any of those up, even the Diamond. I don't care. I wish I'd found that earlier. That's the only thing. That's the only feeling I get when looking at that. Is I wish I'd seen you before. Um, yeah. So, my brain broke for a sec. Give me a rebooting. Hold on. Um, yeah. I just, uh, no, nah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I've lost it. My thought's gone. Um, brain. I will say, if you're going for the trophy to get, uh, three, what do you call it? Three, um, gold plorts from one gold slime. The last vault is the only real chance you have, and I squandered it in my playthrough. That's the reason it took me longer. Um, so just be careful about that. I mean, I guess I should throw some of these in the, uh, in the, what do you call it, um, uh, my brain. Blech. I should throw some of these in the, um, uh, in the refinery, but I don't think I'm going to come back to this playthrough. It's one of these things where it's like, I've had my fun, but, like, I don't really have a reason to come back here once I beat this, so... Okay, um, let's go and, um, what was I going to say? Let's go, uh, here. This is going to be the make or break one, and the problem is you can't do, like, a regular save. The only option I have here is to just fucking run with it, so, for better or worse, we're going to go through this. Let's let the game catch up a little bit in my energy. It's going to be a worthy finale, I swear. My energy just does not want to come back today. Alright, let's see. Okay, so I need to hang a right... It's, it's the tree over there. Uh, okay. <laughs> God, you guys are everywhere. You will not leave me alone. Okay. Um, I thought that was a Largo for a second. I was like, what? I'm just a big boy. gotta be through here. Oh, you know what? I think it's in that area where I thought the Largo should have been. Yeah, it's right there. I thought the uh, Largo should have been there. I was like, it's weird. It's like a clearing, but there's no reason for it. I like that my instincts are right on these things. This is twice now where I've been like, there's something, it's weird that there's nothing here. Alright, boys. This is gonna be a fucking bloodbath. I am not confident with what you're about to see. I'm gonna miss a lot. We're going to see one right there. Or no. Maybe. There's going to be a fuck ton of gold slimes that appear. If I, I'm going to specifically look up this, this vault. 
to see how best to handle this. Um, which awards Golden Sure Shot, which triples port drop rate from gold slimes. Entrance the vault, there are six pogo fruit trees, each capable of producing six fruits, totaling 36. Single gold slime spawns on the tip of the ledge, indicating their purpose. Um, progressing further into room triggers the one-time spawn of a further 18 gold slimes. Do the holes in the floor leading directly to the slime seek. Extra care should be taken so slimes and poison not fall in. The gold slime does not notice you. It will not despawn immediately, so take your time. Note that the pogo fruit trees may not be ready for harvest, so it's best to bring your own resources just in case. Okay. So I guess I can... I think last time I went rushing in. I think this time I'll... Uh... Okay, well, did it just hop off into the fucking void? Excuse me? Hello? So if it doesn't notice you, you have time to, like, aim a shot. It literally just jumped off, didn't it? I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Alright. Well. That's a lot. Oh boy. You know what? Guns blazing. Leroy! <laughs> Um, I think that, <laughs> I think that was most of them. I don't know if I would have gotten the trophy there. So the trophy, if you don't have golden short, sure shot, means you have to hit them three times. Like, hit the same slime three times, I think. I still might not have gotten it, to be honest. Um, because that's hard. But, actually, I can check. I think the in-game achievements would tell me if I did. Um... Read it from the bottom. Obtain at least three gold ports from a single gold slime. Yeah. So this, the one that took me the longest would not have taken me the longest if I just made my goddamn money first. So let that be a, a tip to you. Please be sure to have that ready before you uh, attempt that. Or you will regret it. There's actually a fucking lot of... Um, of treasure faults in here too. I thought this would only be gold slimes, but I guess not. Nineteen gold slimes isn't nothing from that, so I'll take I'll take that. I really thought that would be gonna be my only prize coming in here. I feel like the only fitting end for this is to actually get a golden gordo. Now, like I feel like I need to. Oh my god, there's so many. I did pretty well. Um, all right, I will be right back. I wish I'd brought a teleporter with me. Um, but that's fine. I feel like I got to. I feel like I have to end this in a certain way. Like, these videos have all been pretty long. I think we can make it a little bit longer. Now that I got that, let's buy another one of these. Slime Trophy 3, which I believe adds to that. <laughs> I don't know how worth it that was. Um, okay. I thought there was more slimes for some reason. I thought there was like 30. That's still a lot, don't get me wrong. But I still thought it was a lot. Um, so I need to find Gilded... Um, Gilded, what do you call it? Um, uh, ginger in the dry desert. There's 74 spawn points and only two will spawn a day. So I might not find it. But I'm going to do my best. I might do that. I might record that after. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Idiot. Um, like I might come back or I might finish the recording and then add like a little quick like. How about this? You'll know I had a Golden Gordo, if that's what the thumbnail is. <laughs> How's that sound? It's the only thing I can really promise at this point. I think there's an easier way over there, isn't there? Yeah. I think if I go this way... I hate this slow walk. I thought... I guess I have to be up top. I wonder if I can go around. In for a penny. Like, ah, oh, Nick. You beautiful genius. 
Oh my god, I ran out. Okay. Oh, that was uh, a little bit more stressful than I was planning on. Oh my god. But that is much quicker. Whew. Alright. I wonder how many golden plorts I got, but they fell off. Like, I'm curious what the number is there. Um, okay. I think that's all of them. I'll do another sweep. So the total you can get is like 413, I think. Um, and we got... 40 plus 140, 180 plus another 40. Um, we got like 220 ish. No, hold on. My math's wrong. Uh, so that's 280 plus 40. So we got like 320 out of like 403. That's not bad. I think that assumes you get perfect with the, uh, the Gilded Slimes, which we did not, which is fine. We, I think we did pretty well. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Give me another 20k. I don't know if I want a 20k though. I think I'd rather deposit this. Um. Alright. Let's go here. Really, dude? You, you sure? Okay. Just making sure. I've missed maybe three times the entire time I've played this file and I missed the gold ports. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's see. So we got... Hold on, sometimes it doesn't work. We got the Master Gordo Snare. Got it. Um, we need... I'm just going to make a teleporter while I'm here. Um, so we need food that a Golden Gordo would like. Which means we got to quickly run around the fucking desert looking for a golden, or Gilded uh, Ginger. I'll do a sweep. If I don't see anything, we're going to have to go for a different... Uh, a different Gordo. It's just the only way. I think they can spawn in here. I think I found one once. Um, and never again. Let me look at... I kind of want to look at the possible spawns. Let's see. I feel like in this part of the desert they'd be easy enough to find. If they spawned here. Ow. Alright. Let me keep looking. Well, everyone. Our uh, journey's at an end. We, uh, <laughs> we did everything we needed to do. We, uh, we beat the story, unlocked all the vaults, got all the slimes. We didn't max out the seven club, but I'm not really that worried about it. We got a gold Gordo with sunglasses, because we're fucking cool. Uh, it took me an extra hour to find that gilded ginger, that's fine. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. This is the first, like, full playthrough of something I've done in a long time. Um, so, uh, obviously, I've been recording this, uh, all in one weekend. So, don't know how these parts are going to be distributed. Uh, I don't even know how many parts there are, truth be told. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll probably play this again at some point. Uh, I think I, I like the idea of the Platinum Run. I like the idea of even just doing, like, a Rush Mode, like, stream. Um, but Slime Rancher is fantastic. Monomy Park, thank you for this game. It's amazing. You guys should be proud of yourselves, honestly. Like, I've followed this game since it first, like, premiered on PC. And to see it come to where it is, you, that entire team is awesome. Um, yeah, thank you guys. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. See you in Slime Rancher 2, hopefully, one day, maybe.